Hi everybody, welcome back to this Reality 365. I just want to give you guys a quick update on this oil spill off the coast of California. And somebody was asking about uh, the spa, so I want to go ahead and give a little update uh, on the spa as well. But we can see here that uh, so far that uh, more than 125,000 gallons of oil have already leaked into the ocean. They are saying that it stretches from 13 miles from Huntington Beach all the way to Newport Beach. And they're saying that this uh, happened uh, possibly because a oil or, or one of these cargo container ships had its anchor um, on the ocean floor and was dragging it. So again, uh, we're going to see exactly uh, what caused this. Uh, some people are uh, are questioning this that um, on how could this happen. Um, so let's see what they find. But we do know that uh, right here off the coast of California, yeah, we do see these cargo container ships that are here. And uh, at this time, we have a total of 82 uh, that are outside of port. That's going to include these ships here, and that's also going to include these ships here as well. Now, uh, the ships that we have docked are moored inside here. We have a total of 41. Now, I did do a video around two weeks ago, and at that time, we had a total of 91 uh, ships that were out here. Uh, those ships included the ships that are in this area here and that are in this area right here. Now, at that time, we did have a total of 45 uh, ships that were either docked or moored. Now, it wasn't a big difference, um, but we did see that there was a slight improvement. And, of course, with this oil spill, it I think it's going to hurt that. Uh, so, uh, I, I have a feeling that it's going to slow down a movement of these cargo container ships uh, from being uh, uh, from getting inside this port here but again I could be wrong uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, but I did see that they are um, working 24 hour uh, day shifts but it's pretty much going unused so they're saying here that California ports 24 hour operation is going unused they are actually allowing uh, truck drivers to come pick up containers between the hours of 3 and 7 a.m. Uh, Monday through Thursday, but they said so far that they have got zero deliveries now Hopefully they could find some of these truckers to uh, help move this but um, You know, it's just kind of strange that they had absolutely zero deliveries. So uh, We just have to wait and see again on what happens with that But I did find this site here that uh, has real-time uh, video on all these ports that are backed up now but uh Los Angeles port um, is, is is probably the worst. Now, I did take a look at New York. And New York here, let's go ahead and bring up this map real quick. And if we go ahead and um, go to New York, we could take a look at their ports there. But it's, um, I, I, can't, I can't say exactly on how backed up it is. Because if we go ahead and take a look at these, uh, these videos here. Oops, let me go and bring this up here. Uh, the port here, we can see that it pretty much looks uh, empty. Uh, but I'm going to get um, into more detail uh, on this in a other video. But um, I just wanted just to show you guys uh, uh, this really quick. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the spa here before we do end this video. And uh, we can see here that there is a little bit of uh, uh, something going on here. Uh, we do have uh, some ships here that are at the spa. And we also have these other ships here that are um, a little bit uh, here to the side, but it doesn't really give us no information. It just lets us know that either it's a tugboat, a cargo ship, or a uh, or a tanker. But if we go back here to the uh, the spa here, sorry about all this movement, guys. Uh, if we go back to the spa here, we can see that uh, we do have our uh, our boat here, our tugboat here. Let me go ahead and click on that image. And um, I'm going to click on that image again. It's always good to have a visual on what we are talking about. And it's asking me to log in. But uh, let me go just go ahead and uh, get out of here real quick. And now we can go ahead and see that um, we do have these other two uh, ships that are out here as well. Uh, we are going to click on this image. And this is going to be a law enforcement uh, vessel. Uh, we're going to click on this image. And this is going to be uh, the ship that we are looking at now. Let me go ahead and back up out of there one more time. I might have backed up. Okay, and here we go. And we also have this other um, this other ship here that is also a law enforcement vessel. 
uh, ship. Uh, and then we're going to click on that. And we can see that this is a U.S. Coast Guard ship. Uh, let me back up out of there. And now we can see that there was a other ship that was actually uh, at port or moored uh, in here at the spa. Which is this one here. This is called the Evergreen State. And we can see that its designation is Military Ops. Now if we go ahead and click on this image. We could go ahead and click on this image as well. And uh, let's go one more time just to get a visual on the uh, the vessel or the ship that we are talking about. So I will go ahead and back up out of there. And we will go ahead and click on its patch track to see is exactly on where it was at. Uh, so let me go ahead and oops, sorry about that guys. Let me go ahead and um, zoom back up out of here. And let me go ahead and click on this, uh, oops, this ship here. This is going to be the, the ever... Green state, click on that. We're going to go ahead and click on this patch track. And we can see that it was at the spa. It did leave the spa. So um, so we're just going to have to wait and see on where it is going. So we can see that there was a search and rescue vessel here. Uh, let me go ahead and click on this image. And we could just see here that it is a uh, SAR, which is a search and rescue. Um, so... Um, we do see um, some ships coming in and out of here. Uh, so again, we are the sea paparazzi. So it's always good to see what's going on over here. But uh, again, guys, uh, once I see something stands out um, or anything change here, I'll definitely be posting a video. And as always, thanks for watching.